Hello friends, Christian here with Brick Life Crisis, and today we're taking a look at a Mega Block set. This is Star Trek The Original Series. The set consists of 111 pieces and is recommended for ages 10 and up. This is a 50th anniversary set, and it's pretty cool looking, at least from the box art. Let's go ahead and crack it open and see if it lives up to all the hype. Here we have it. This is the Star Trek set featuring Bones McCoy, Captain Kirk, and a couple of red shirts. Let's go ahead and take a look at this little uh, terrain build, and then we'll take a look at each of these figures one by one. All right, here's our little terrain build. Uh, I've got to admit that I am not a big Trekkie. I enjoy Star Trek well enough, but I'm not a fan that knows all of the episodes, especially from the original series. It looks like we have an entrance to a cave of some kind with maybe some jewels or something embedded, and then um, some kind of ruins of a table or something like that. Anyway, it's a kind of a neat little build. Um, one thing about Mega Blocks, Mega Constructs, is there's generally one piece that is stamped with um, a serial number and a China emblem to let you know that it is manufactured over there. And unfortunately, it's often in a very conspicuous place. Uh, I was able to put that facing the back at least, but anyway. That's that. So this is the terrain build. I like what uh, Mega Constructs and Mega Blocks does with these marbled bricks. Uh, adds some texture without having to have additional detail added and without having to use prints and stickers and that sort of thing. Um, a few of these bricks, uh, like this one here, this plate, this slope, this slope, they are, um, it's gonna be tough to see, but they are kind of a cloudy clear, if that makes sense. They're a transparent brick but they're a bit cloudy, so it's not like a, a typical window clear, um, but it's a kind of a cloudy piece. It almost looks like a block of ice or something like that, which is kind of a, a cool little thing. I haven't seen that before. The set included two red shirts, and they are both very similar, uh, with the exception of the flesh tone and their head molds. Uh, they each come with a phaser, and we'll take a closer look at that in just a moment. But they are a, a standard mega block, mega construct type figure. Uh, they're articulated at the head on a ball joint. They are adjustable at the hips, knees, and waist, as well as the wrists, elbows, and shoulders. So articulation is good, the detail is pretty good, and uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to have both of these guys. And here we have Bones McCoy and Captain Kirk. Uh, these guys are both very well done. Not a bad likeness, especially considering the size of the figures. The uh, insignia on the shirt lapels is done very well, and uh, they have some nice accessories too, including a communicator and uh, some kind of you know, measuring device, I suppose. We'll go ahead and take a look at those accessories now. All right, so each figure came with one of these gold stands, and there's the instrumentation that included the shoulder strap, there's the communicator, and two phasers. The phasers are really nicely done, as is the communicator. I'm not sure what that other instrument is, but uh, it looks good enough, I suppose. The stands are kind of plain, but they serve their purpose. Alright, so that about does it for this one. This has been Christian with Brick Life Crisis. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye for now. I wonder if these guys realize they're the first to die.